my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Beauty Big Bang Magnetic 006 and Born Pretty L050. Here I'm going in with this. I got the Beauty Big Bang Magnetic out. I've got my little magnet and this is over my gel nails with that thermal that I had on. I'm going to just paint right over it. I'm using this gorgeous orange yummy magnetic. I was so excited to play with some magnetic polishes. So I'm doing a thin coat of that being sure to cap my free edge. Pretty proud of these tips that I did. They did, they turned out, or not tips, but you know extensions I did on this hand. Other than that one being a little longer than the rest of them, it's okay. So I'm going to go in and just kind of smooth this out. Make sure that I've got all of it covered. And now I'm going to hold this magnet over my nail, and I count to 10 Mississippis. That's just how I do it here. So that I got some 10 seconds of holding the magnet over it. And there we go. I'm going to hold it under my 48 watt lamp for 60 seconds. And now that that is all done, I'm going to go in with the Born Pretty Black Stamping Polish, my monocle stamper, my beauty scraper. And this is BPL050. And we're just going to use five images off of this plate. I've had this one for a while. It didn't have the blue film on it, so I have used it before. I'm pretty sure, but I just felt like using different images. Letting that magnetic polish shine through differently on all those nails. There we go. I did put that Burt's Bees cuticle balm around my fingers so that the skin is protected from the stamping some. I really love plates like this, these like optical illusion plates. I'm having a little trouble seeing it, so I'm gonna turn it around. Oh, that one did not stick very well. <laughs> Looks like y'all gonna get to see me do some fixin' fixin'. Yep, I'm not happy with that. So I'm gonna use the Pro FX on the rest of these nails. And I'm going to start off with this boogered up nail here where it didn't all take. And I just do a thin little coat. I do the rest of them off camera. And now I'm going to try to get this um, image to stick where it didn't stick. But it's up by the cuticle. And now it just looks like a blob mess. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to use our non-acetone. Since that's gel polish and it's all cured, I can use this non-acetone but nail polish remover and just remove that whole image. Ta-da! Now we got a do-over going on. And I'm just going to move on to a different image because I'm going to clean this plate off when I'm done. Since I'm using five different images, I'm just leaving them, you know, caked up in polish until I'm finished. Now this image right here is just really one of my favorites because it really does look like water marble. I love it. There we go. I'm going to clean that stamper off on my lint roller. And I have been asked if that Burt's Bees gets on my stamper, and it does, but it pretty much comes off on that lint roller. So just keep rolling, rolling your stamper over that until it, you know, flares up. This is a really cool image, too. I'm going to try to line it up, center it up to where that circle's in the middle. Did pretty good. Not perfect, but pretty good. And now one more image. Let's flip this plate around. I'm going to use this one that looks kind of like maybe the corners of a heart. Of course, it's going on that little pinky nail, so I'm not going to get the full effect. Still cool, though. And I love this manicure. This one was really cool because it would flash orange and red and Got all that glittery hollow goodness going on behind that stamped image. Manicures like this make me so happy. So here we go with our last one. It's got the star in the center of it. Let's see if we can line that one up. We're going back to that nail that got messed up earlier. And yay, all of it took. I'm so happy. So now I'm going to go in with a piece of tape and pull up some of this excess stamping polish off of my finger, you know, the skin around my fingers. 
That cleaned up really well, thankfully. And now I'm gonna go in with my cleaned up brush and just clean it up with some acetone. Just a little bit. Oh, there we go with the smudging. But since I've got that Burt's Bees on there, it's kind of coming up even easier and not smearing. I will be using this Born Pretty top coat. And this is a uh, no wipe top coat. And I think I like them the best. Here's the magic. You put that glossy top coat over that stamping and then that magnetic polish. Oh, it's just magical. I love it. Capping my free edge. And then I'm going to cure this one under the lamp also. But first, a visit from Woody. I'm going to cure that under the lamp for 60 seconds. And here's my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about it. As always, I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself.